Hey, what's going on? Um, I want to do a quick video on my, on I guess two out of the three Christmas gifts I got this year. This is my solar uh, low temperature differential Sterling engine. So I just built it. I did a short video of it being built. Um, but I wanted to follow up by showing the three ways you can power this engine. And uh, the first one I have it going already, just to make it more interesting, I've got it powered off of the sun. Technically not the sun, let me show you here. This is my uh, new grow light <laughs> I'm gonna use this year. So I've got my grow light powering my, my Sterling engine uh, the way the sun would. Um, so obviously a lot of uh, radiation from the light and the sun here hitting this black plate and that's creating the necessary temperature uh, differential in order to run my little Sterling engine. And uh, it is running. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Um, very, very, very low friction on this thing, uh, the way they've made it. This company that makes it is called Contax, uh, K-O-N-T-A-X. And um, this is the little box it came in. And it's actually designed and made in Maidenhead, England. So they've, the manufacturing of this thing was just amazing. So uh, I, uh, I'm really, really impressed with this. So now we're gonna try to run it off uh, two other sources. I've got, let me bring the video over here a little bit. I've got hot water and then I've got ice. So we'll try to run it off all three. So let's move over to hot water. So let me see if I can bring the sun down here turning the sun down a little bit. Um, now I'm going to run it off of hot water. So let me go ahead and cool the engine off and slow it down. All right, so the engine's pretty much stopped again. Here's my hot water, move that here. And let's put it on top. This will be my energy source. I'll move it over here a little bit. There we go. All right, give it a couple seconds here. You can see we're starting to get steam from the hot water on the uh, inside of the, of the case. I have a theory. I think it runs this way when it's a temperature. Yeah, oh, you can see it. I didn't touch it. Oh, it's just starting to move. It's trying. It's trying. Usually you'd give the the wheel a little spin here, but it may actually start on its own, which would be incredibly impressive if it was able to do that. Uh, maybe. Sorry, it's just barely turning. I kind of want to give it a shot. Oh, all right, I'm give it a little force. Might not be enough there. I wonder if it wants to run to the right or left. Let's try running it right for, or left for a second there. All right, let's try right. There may still be a little bit of a differential from the sun here, so let me bring the sun down. Get the video a little better. You know what, I'll turn on this little ring light here. And we'll get a little more light coming from the camera. Uh, there we go. All right, we should be able to start it now. Still not liking it. It seems like it wants to run to the left. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Now, there may still be a little bit of a temperature change um, issue from the fact that I had this on a hot, you know, getting all that heat coming down from that lamp. Um, so there may not be as much of a temperature change yet. Uh, it may be hot and hot-ish. <laughs> so it may take a second here. Um, I really, really like the, uh, the acrylic version, which is this one, which they call the solar version, uh, because you can see all the mechanism. Again, just unbelievably beautifully made um really just stunningly made um 
you know, so I'm super, super impressed with these guys. And there we go, now it's running. So that's self-sustaining. Uh, let me turn it around so you can see the cool mechanism on the back here. So they've got this, uh, what they call a Ross yoke, is this little mechanism that goes up and down. So let me get it over here where you can see it a little better. Get the focus on, there we go, that looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, so that's the Ross yoke mechanism. Uh, it just adds kind of a little design element and it's really pretty. They had to put a counterweight in there and then they've got this piston. I think it's made out of, I'm guessing graphite and there is like zero friction inside that cylinder. Um, I mean, it's really, really gorgeous. So, so yeah, I'm really impressed with that. All right. Uh, enough talking, more experimenting. I'm gonna run this off of ice next. So we're gonna to try to run it off of ice. So obviously it's self-sustaining. This is pretty common to run it off a teacup. And you'll see when we pull it up here, I'll pull this thing up a little. You can see all the moisture on the bottom of the thing. So let's put it on the uh, cold and try to make it run off that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry off the bottom really quick with a little paper towel action here. All right, go ahead and slow this guy down. Wait for the temperatures. If I really was doing this right, I'd have like three of these things, but I've only got one. All right, so it stopped. It may take a little while for it to change temperatures enough here, but I've got it. Uh, this is just a block of ice. Sorry, let me show this a little better on the video. This is just a block of ice um, that is in a glass thing with some paper towels to keep it from spinning around, but just good old fashioned ice. And it happens to fit perfectly. What this is normally used for is we make uh, Japanese shave ice with a little machine, and that happens to be the block of ice that the machine makes, and it happens to fit. So, get this to go here. Give it a little bit of time here to start cooling off, because I'm actually trying to reverse the Stirling engine now. I'm trying to go from hot below to cold below, so the heat would be above. So, let's give it a second here, see if we get enough differential it spins so freely that sometimes I think it feels like it's just going to spin without any energy being applied. Um, let's try left. And you can tell once it's self-sustaining because once it gets going, uh, you can kind of just see the energy pick up and pick up and pick up. And it actually kind of accelerates after a little while here. That seems like it's starting to get some of the energy there or lack of energy, I guess cold is the opposite. It's pulling the energy down. So there you go. It may actually be going. Just to make sure it's not unfair, I'm gonna turn off this light. So it's definitely the block of ice making it run. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so that is just the ice making the Sterling engine run. Turn it around so you can see all the sides. It's really just, I mean, it's like a, a work of art. I really think it's just gorgeous. So, yep, that's definitely the ice running it. I don't know if that was helped or hurt by the light being next to it for a little bit, but we'll just call that all even in the end. Yeah. So really impressed. You can run this little uh, Contax Sterling engine. Uh, I bought this. You know, I'm not... I'll put a link to them because I feel like they're doing good work trying to have a small little family business out in England. So I'll put a link over to their uh, their kit. Um, wow, I'm really impressed how fast that'll run off of ice. That is a 
that, that engine's moving for a block of ice. But uh, yeah, this contacts, uh, contacts Sterling engines of uh, Made in Head England. So I'll put a little link over to them. Um, I'm, it's not like a buying link. I don't, I feel really weird when people are like recommending something and then they make money off of it. I think it's totally bogus. Um, the light that I got is a um, Spider Farmer light. I got the Spider Farmer Dash 1000. And I am super impressed with that thing. Having the dimmer and all that stuff, it's great. Um, I'm gonna use it to start my zinnias and my dahlias this this summer, or this spring. Um, but yeah, so Sterling engines, if you're into them, this is a great one. Mine actually came with this fancy spancy little case. So. You just put this little guy in the case and uh, try not to drop the case on top. And there you go, leave it like that. I think if you put this in a window, I think actually the sun would be enough to drive the engine inside this little, uh, little glass case. Um, might get a magnifying effect, so <laughs> you might wanna watch out that you don't set drapes on fire but uh yeah looks great i love this thing all right hopefully uh, somebody finds that interesting like one other viewer out on youtube good luck